ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد سلام عليكم بما صبرتم فنعم عقد الدار الحياة كلها صبر والصبر خلق من خلق فطري ولكن ينمى ينمى عن طريق الاكتساب عن طريق الدعاء وعن طريق المجاهدة والصبر الله سبحانه وتعالى سد in Surah Al-Ra'd to the believers in Jannah Salamun alaykum bima sabartu The angels are the ones who are talking to the believers Salamun alaykum Peace be upon you for what you have persevered for what your for your patience the patience that you had patience on doing the obligations and patience on staying away from the haram and patience on accepting what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala predestined. So this is life. And patience is khuluq, manner. And manners are tabiq. Yani this is something you're created with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you that. But at the same time, you can improve it. And you are commanded to improve it. Some people create it, get angry quickly. Does that mean they have to get angry every time? No, the Prophet ﷺ told us numerous ways of how to control your anger. So the point is manners. And manners are al-akhlaq mu'amalat. Akhlaq mu'amalat. So manners is dealing with people. And dealing with people is essential in Islam. Especially the Prophet ﷺ told us in a hadith how people who deal with people in a negative or in a bad way, but they do their worships. What was the result? Al-Mu'amalat مع الناس مهم لابد من علاقات مع الله سبحانه وتعالى ومع الناس فإن أحسنت مع الله ولم تحسن مع الناس فأنت لم تحسن وَإِنْ أَحْسَنْتَ مَعَ النَّاسِ وَلَمْ تُحْسِنْ مَعَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَالَى لَمْ تُحْسِنْ لابد من العلاقة مع الناس جيد ومع الله سبحانه وتعالى جيد So the Prophet وسلم, told us in a hadith uh, yeah, I, Personally I see it deadly hadith, scary hadith For if you reflect on it, all of us heard it or probably know it but we need to reflect upon it a little bit. Sa'ala al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Sahaba radiyallahu anhum atadruna man al-Muflis Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sitting with the companions so he asked him a question and this question is for the purpose of educating not for the purpose of knowing the answer. It's a style in passing the message. Qalu uh, يعني the question is relating to money. Who is the bankrupt? When you mention money, everyone knows it. And everyone loves it. And everyone studies everything about it. And everyone wants to get it. And wants to improve it. And wants to do everything for it. We love it so much. To the point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَتُحِبُّونَ الْمَالَ حُبًّا جَمَّ You love money inordinately, meaning too much more than what you should. We are so attached to money. So the companions generally, when the Prophet sallallahu asks a question, they say, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam. They leave it to the Prophet sallallahu to answer, but this is a piece of cake. This is too easy. أَتَدْرُونَ مَنِ الْمُفْلِسِ You know who is the bankrupt. قَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مَنْ لَا دِرْهَمَ لَهُ وَلَا مَتَاعِ Simple. You don't have cash. 
and you don't have tangible assets, you don't have property, that's a bankrupt person. Look at the saying of the Prophet Qal inna min ummati al muflis man jaa aw inna min ummati aqwam ya'tuna yawm al qiyamah bi salah wa siyam wa zakah some of my ummah the real bankrupt is some people come the day of judgment masha Allah five times a day praying maybe in the masjid too and charity, mashallah, zakah and everything doing good. Fasting, not only Ramadan, but maybe Mondays and Thursdays and white days and every possibility, they do that. يَأْتُونَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ بِصَلَاةِ وَصِيَامِ وَزَكَاةِ وَقَدْ شَتَمَ هَذَا وَضَرَبَ هَذَا وَأَكَلَ مَالَ هَذَا وَسَفَكَ دَمَ هَذَا وَقَذَفَ هَذَا This person who has all those wonderful things, he has zero akhlaq. He hits this person, and he hits that person, and he slanders this person, and he robbed this person, and he oppressed this person, and he hurt this person, and he killed this person. Horrible manners dealing with people. يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فيأخذ هذا من حسناته ويأخذ هذا من حسناته حتى إذا فنيت حسناته حتى إذا فنيت حسناته ولم يقضى ما عليه أخذ من سيئاتهم فطرحت عليه فطرح في النار you're talking about a person who got a hundred in our vision in dealing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and zero in dealing with people. So the day of judgment presented all the hasanat. MashaAllah, he has mountains. Past, not past, but with A+. Plus. Then he looks behind and he sees a line of people. What are these for? We want our rights. You hit me. You backbite me. You slandered me. You hurt me. You, you, you. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters, we, us, when we harm someone or we take the property of someone and maybe move to another state or maybe go back home or maybe disappear from the scene and then mashallah we become so righteous and we repented and we came back and we we'll probably become an imam we think that it's all taken care of la wallah wallahi you harm a person wallahi you will not get away with it Wallahi, the day of judgment, you're going to see him. It doesn't matter what you do on earth. It doesn't matter how many times you repent. It doesn't matter if you donate a billion dollars instead of the money that you... You have to pay that person his right. The oppressor will never get away with it. The wrongdoer is ظالم لا بد إلا وأن تؤخذ المظلمة لصاحبها. لا بد لا يمكن أن ينجو إنسان حتى الشهيد حتى الشهيد the martyr will be stopped to take or to give the rights to the other people so this person passed in relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and failed with relationship with people mountains of hasanat there's nothing better than salah and zakah and salam these are the pillars and fara'id so you have a lot of hasanat, but the rights of people are so much because we don't think about it. We talk every day, and we backbite every day, and we slander, and we accuse, and we misjudge or make uh, suspicion, and everything. We don't count that. Ahsahullah, 
ونسوه الله سبحانه وتعالى ما يلفظ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد بط وفكي الله سبحانه وتعالى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثاره everything is في كتاب مبين so imagine a person doing all of this good deed and then fail in akhlaq what does that tell you it tells me that his salah and zakah and siyam is not done properly and not accepted and even if it's accepted it did not give the fruits that it's supposed to give in the salat tanha anil fahsha'i wal munkar how do you cuss and curse if you pray salah is supposed to stop you from that it's not stopping you from that then you're something wrong with your salah fasting so you may accomplish taqwa so by the end of Ramadan you should graduate in taqwa you, you're not graduated so what happened you failed what does that mean your siyam has a problem zakah zakah purifies you erase your sins and elevates your manners it didn't do that so what's the problem the problem with your zakah there is a problem with it. Maybe you're given your zakah from haram source. Maybe you're given it with hatred or with no sincerity. Or there's something wrong with the money that you are giving because it did not give the fruits. All the ibadat, ya ikhwan, la bud illa yantuj anha al akhlaq. Mish al aks. Il ibadat tunammi al akhlaq. Wa tu hassan al akhlaq. Wa tu zayin al akhlaq. When you worship, your akhlaq has to be improved. It has to aid, to elevate it. Because ibadat without akhlaq, it's like you, you're not you're not really you're just acting. Just like uh, I don't know what uh, I'll say it. Anyway. There's one brother back home. He wants to pray. So some people who don't speak Arabic ask him to lead the salah. He said, no, you always pray together, you lead it. And it was Asr prayer. So they insisted, no, you're Arab, you speak Arabic, Mish'ar al-Shur, you lead the prayer. So he led the prayer and he started, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. MashaAllah, beautiful song. <clears throat> so one of the brothers is going, brother, brother, no turn, 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 turn. What does that mean? No turn, 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 turn. You know what that means? Anyone? The Quran is turn, 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 turn. This is the Quran. This is how they relate to the Quran and to a, to Al Fatiha. Yani, if you come to prayer simply because you just find yourself saying Allahu Akbar in your mind somewhere else and you are reciting and you have no idea what you're reciting and you have no idea where you are or what you do and you just up and down, how can that? do a difference in your manner. It's not going to do that. Therefore, we need to focus on praying right, like the Prophet said, not like the way you learn. You need to read a book, see how the Prophet prayed. I don't care who taught you. Still, you need to verify that you're taught right. Find a book and read it, or listen to it. How to make wudu. How to fast Ramadan? What are what are the things that break your fast and all of that? All people during Ramadan, they start asking you, Oh, Sheikh, if you do this and if you do that, and would that break your fast? You're supposed to know all that before Ramadan, right? When you go to Hajj, those who are sincerely going to Hajj, what do they do? They get the booklet and they read and they study. It's not like I open the book when I am at Safa 
and Marwan start to figure out what am I supposed to do now? This is, this is a shortage in our understanding and negative. Uh, th th this shows we're not dedicated. So we need to think hard, brothers. Make your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala good and relationship with people good. And inshallah, you will be from those people that we said, Jannatu adni yadkuluna wa man salaha min abaihim wa azwajihim wa dhriyatihim wal malaikatu yadkuluna alayhim min kulli babin salamun alaykum bima tsagartum. فنيع مع عقد الدار الله خيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم